there. This is a brief tutorial to show you how you can take your course content from your sandbox located at canvas.instructure.com and import it into your real course at canvas.saddleback.com. First, make sure that you're in canvas.instructure.com where you built your sandbox course. Pick the course that you would like to export content from and scroll down to Settings. From the Settings menu, select Export Course Content. Select the type of content that you would like to export. In this case, we're exporting the entire course and create the export. Let it do its processing. And once it's complete, you'll see the bar that says your content has been exported. Just above that, you should see a click here to download. Click there and save that to either your desktop or your downloads. Now that you've exported and saved your course to your downloads or your desktop files, you'll want to go to the course that you want to import it into. Be sure you're on the URL for saddleback.edu, which is canvas.saddleback.edu. Next, go to your dashboard and find the course that you want to import your content into. Click on the course and go to settings. Once in the settings menu, look to the right hand side and you're going to import course content. Select the type of content that you would like to import in, which is going to be Canvas Course Export Package. As you can see, you can also import Blackboard course content. So if you were importing from Blackboard, you would use Blackboard 6789. In this case, we're using our Sandbox course. So we want to select Canvas Course Export Package. Choose your file from where you saved it and click Open. You can select all content or specific content. I'm going to select all content for the purposes of this video. And select Import. You can see there's a checkbox option to adjust event dates and due dates. If you select this, you can shift dates according to semesters. In this case, I'm going to leave that box unchecked and just select Import. Let it do its thing. As you can see, it will come up saying that the job has been queued, depending on how long it takes for it to import. And as it does it, it will give you information about whether or not there were any error messages. Be patient with this. Sometimes it takes a while.